Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode here on European Confessions. The following story that you're going to be listening to, it comes from a narration of a message that I received. The narration reads like this. Hello, my brother, how are you? Can you please post my own story as hidden identity? Well, my brother, my story, it goes on like this. It happened, this was like a very long time ago. In those days, there was no such thing like the things that we have right now, like social media. Back in those days, if you wanted to date someone, what they used to do is that they would call out on the radio and they would mention the names of those people that were single and searching. And there was this thing whereby you would go and you would send a letter to the newspapers. We used to call it pen pal. So I then became a pen pal with this other lady, a single rich lady from Zambia. I am from Zim. So when I became a pen pal with that lady who is from Zambia, we started speaking with each other and I felt something great for her. And the day that she sent me a letter alongside one of her photographs, I really got interested into her and we started chatting and she told me that she actually wanted me to come and visit her there in Zambia. Well, this woman, she was quite rich. She told me that she had this other brother of hers who was staying in the country. I was in love with this woman. She came and she visited me and she told me that she was going to send some money so that I can actually go and visit her there in Zambia. After she had sent me the money, that was when I went and I joined with her in Zambia. But this woman, as beautiful as she was, whenever I would try to touch her, to make love to her, there was always something that was coming up. Little did I I know that this woman she actually had spiritual husbands she had tokologies that she used to sleep with so then there was this other day when i started to notice that on that farm where she was staying there was a lot of strange things that were happening and she came out into the open after i had told her that after i had asked her why was she staying on that farm all alone a lady just staying on the farm all alone but she said that she was not afraid of any thieves rather she was afraid of something she then said that she was not afraid of any spiritual thing she was only afraid of thieves then she was open with me and she told me that she was a ritualist her father and was also a ritualist she said that she had these two tokologies and she wanted to give me one and the one that she wanted to give me it was a man and i said how can i become a husband to another man she then said that she wanted to do a ritual whereby she was going to transform that topology so that it can become like a woman and the thing that she did my brother i suspected that there was murder that happened at that farm there was this other particular trip when she told me that we were supposed to go to lusaka well we got into her vehicle and along our way when we were traveling to lusaka we then picked up this other young lady she was just a desperate young lady just going around not knowing where she wanted to go to well that was when that lady stopped and she picked up that desperate young lady and she said that she wanted to offer a job to that young lady but it was nothing but a lie we then returned back to the farm when we returned back to the farm that lady just went missing but before she had gone missing throughout the night i heard that outside there was someone someone who was screaming it was like this person was like help help me help me they are trying to kill me even though i didn't understand the language yet but i just suspected that this is what she was trying to say she was shouting out for help when i kept on wondering what was going on that was when that lady decided to seduce me she seduced me so much on that night and i had been waiting for her 
for a very long time such that i failed to even listen to that woman who was outside and who was crying out for help as if there was something bad that was being done to her brother nashi this lady then said that she wanted me to go with her to this other traditional healer then when we were about to go there that was when i looked at the back of the car and i saw that there was this other bag this bag it seemed as if there was something or someone that had been chopped up to several pieces because there was blood that was just dripping out of that bag i asked her and she said that it was just a cow this woman my brother she was fearless what she had done is that she had gone out in the night and she told me that she wanted to slaughter a cow and i said let me go with you and she said no it is fine she went out in the night and she said that she slaughtered a cow but this was after i had those screams of a woman that was screaming out for help and after that young lady that we had picked up it suddenly disappeared my brother when she returned back into the bedroom i saw that she had blood she had blood everywhere so when i was connecting the pieces that was when i said no the there is something that is going on here maybe those people they actually cut up that young lady into several pieces so that they can use her for their own rituals well we then went to that traditional healer a lot of rituals were done on my body and i was told that i was now a ritualist we then returned back to that lady's farm she was like staying all alone on that farm but at that time it was me and her but my brother this lady she started getting so sick she was like really sick and it was at that time when i started to see the ghost of that young lady that we had picked up at that time when we had been traveling to lusaka that one that had been given a job by that evil woman so when i saw that there was a ghost I got so scared and when i looked at that lady that i was staying with it was like she had been struck by her own demons she was like paralyzed she was unable to get out of bed she was unable to do anything for herself i said this lady she never showed me her relatives or her parents right now i am in this foreign country what will happen to me if this lady dies and i just ran away from her well when i ran away from her i did not have anything but when i finally came back to harare that was when i started regretting i said i ran away from my job even if i go to speak with my boss he's never going to allow me to work for him again as a gardener and at that time i knew that already he had found someone who was now working for him i said what am i going to do that was when i thought of my other friend as i was walking towards the direction where my friend was staying because i was planning to go and stay at his place at least for a night but my brother when i was walking there then there was this other man who was driving a very beautiful car stopped and that guy stopped me and he asked me for some directions and when i told him the directions i said but where you are going that is where i am going as well so i then jumped at the back of his car but this was like a private car so i was sitting at the back seat then as we were speaking that man as he turned around to look at me that was when i found out that his face had totally changed and it it had became the face of that lady the one that we had picked up when i was still in zambia the one that i suspected that they had actually killed her off then she gave me some money and she said i want you to use this money do not go ahead with this journey of yours of you wanting to go and sleep at your friend's house go and find somewhere else to stay and she gave me some directions she said there is this other particular house and if you walk like this you are going to reach that house and tell them that you are a security guard and they are going to offer you accommodation when i followed her orders she did everything when i followed her orders i then found out that everything that she had told me was the truth but my brother i slept in that room that didn't have anything the first night i slept on the floor from there on i started buying properties and properties this lady my brother she started coming to me she is actually my wife and she is very jealous she then told me where she wanted me to buy our house which we stay in together 
mother this lady she only comes to me at night she performs all the duties that are performed by your normal wives that are alive sometimes i can actually hear her doing the dishes in the kitchen but it happens at night even when i make love to her i just feel like i am actually making love to a normal human being she gave me that option to sleep around if i want to but i am not allowed to bring any woman at that house that she told me i was supposed to buy but she told me that i was not but she said that i am not allowed to bring any ladies into our home and my brother right now i am getting old now that i am getting old i keep on asking myself what is going to happen to me this lady i think that when she was killed by those men they used an x because this lady whenever i see her she has this x that is always stuck on her forehead and with that x she destroyed all of my relatives one by one she struck them dead i am left with no one expect for this spirit of that woman who was murdered in zambia i am old the thing that pains me the most is that i do not have any child and i do not have any relative so what is going to happen to me the day that i am going to die maybe i am going to be buried as if i am a dog Dear listeners, right there was a narration of a message that was sent to me by one of our brothers. Your 